In this video, I will show you the results of an algorithmic trading strategy that I once found on GitHub. It shows some very promising results in the backtest, so it might also be profitable in real life trading. So let me show you first what I'm talking about after the intro. According to the comments in the code, this strategy is created by a person called Rally Panos, and changes were made by Ichiat. I did not find any other sources or a website from Rally Panos on GitHub and Google, and also searching for Ichiat only gave me this empty GitHub page. So if you are or know the authors of the code, you know it, the credits are for you. I'm just the guy who tests this to see if it has a probability to make us some money in the market. As for the strategy itself, it can be found on GitHub by searching for the name of the class or the file name. If you are logged in on GitHub, you can find many repositories, uh, and I myself found it on this page. So if we drill down to the code, we start off by skipping the loading of the libraries here and seeing that the code makes use of some parameter optimization in this first section. There is also an additional indicator configured here, and that's called the Elliott Wave indicator. The following section shows the configured ROI table where profits are made after certain time limits. However, if you look at this carefully, you can see that this ROI table is commented out, so the ROI has been set elsewhere. Also, the strategy has some protections that are used when a certain maximum drawdown is reached. A stop loss guard, pairs with low profit are excluded, and a cooldown period for when these are reached. Here we see the actual ROI settings for the strategy. It has been set to sell at 99% profit at any moment, or sell at the 200 minute mark if there is a loss of minus 100%. At least that's what I think the author wants it to do. The set parameter for stop loss here is minus 20%, and this means that the strategy has been uh, set to sell at minus 20% loss after entering a trade. Then there are some parameters set for the parameter optimization, and some more protection settings as well. Now here in this code, you can see that the trading stop loss has been set to true, which I overlooked initially. Now, I am not particularly fond of using the trading stop loss because it can lead to unrealistic results in the backtest. So, I tested this algo with both its trailing stop loss set and also unset, so that you can see the difference of setting this parameter as well. Finally, there are some order type settings and the time frame uh, this strategy is supposed to work best on. We'll see later if this is actually the case here. Also, after some plotting settings, we start to see which indicators are used in this algo. They are the exponential, hull and simple moving average, Elliott wave oscillator, and finally some different length RSI indicators. And then the actual buy and sell settings are configured in the coming Python methods. The strategy has multiple buying conditions. It generally looks for opportunities when the fast RSI is below 35, suggesting a oversold condition. It checks if the closing price is below an adjusted EMA value, indicating a potential undervaluation. Now, two sets of conditions based on the EWO, one where the EWO is above a high threshold, and another one uh, where it is below a low threshold. And additional checks ensure that there is enough trading volume to support the entry. As for the selling conditions, these are triggered if the price rises significantly above uh, the determined HMA or adjusted EMA, combined with a relative change in RSI values, indicating that the asset may be overbought. Now, these conditions are designed to take profits during upward price movements or prevent losses when the initial buy conditions no longer hold. Before I will begin to show you the results uh, I got in the backtest, uh, I again want to make a small remark about these trailing stop losses. I am not a fan of these because these can make the backtest results look more favorable and thus giving us a bias. Therefore, fooling yourself this is a great working strategy, while in fact it is not. Unfortunately, uh, I found this out later, 
because I overlooked it when I did the initial backtest. However, uh, after I did the additional full tests with this trailing stop loss enabled, I also did one with the trailing stop loss disabled. And this gave me the chance to compare the results with each other and find out how much of a difference this could be. Now there is also another thing about bias. Since the results I got were quite astonishing, I also wanted to check if this uh, strategy uh, suffered from look-ahead bias. But after using the built-in look-ahead analysis, it showed me that this was not the case. Let me first show you the results of the backtest where I have enabled the trailing stop loss. And these were as follows. So, now can you really believe that this relatively simple ELGO strategy will deliver this amount on the 5 minute time frame? Because this equity curve is simply amazing and uh, looks almost too good to be true. And it actually really is. Because if I leave the trailing stop loss setting out of the equation, it shows a complete different result. Now I will not argue that uh, over 63,000 USDT is a phenomenal result, because it still is. But the difference here between using trailing stop loss or not in backtesting situations is almost $175,000. So, you see, you should really be aware of these things and most of the time be critical about the results you see. And that's also the case with this second no TSL results of course. You should always test this again on your own system and configuration and also do a forward test of this algo over several weeks or preferably even months. And after you will get a final idea on the performance of these indicators, or of this algo I mean then you can really adjust it to real market circumstances with actual money. And you can see in uh, the week of uh, May or June 2021, there is a huge rise in profits during that week. And that is mainly because the strategy catched some pumps that week during the backtest. But remember that this is just a lucky draw and might not even happen in the future or even in similar backtests if you start the backtest uh, one day earlier or one day later even. As for the drawdown this strategy might suffer in the future, the average drawdown is around 6-7% uh, on this plot and the largest drawdown uh, seems to be around 22% at max. The plot here shows only the maximum drawdown over the plotted period and you have to remember that the largest drawdown always happens in the future. You can see on the win-loss ratio plot here that most of the time this strategy had weeks where there are more winning than losing trades. But please note however that this is not representative for the profitability overall, because loss of wins with small gains can easily be negated by the few losing trades with high losses. It is also remarkable that this strategy performs so well on the 5 minute time frame. The other time frames seem to have big problems making this a profitable strategy and I wonder why this is the case. More investigation seems to be necessary to find out the reasons behind this. And if anyone tests this strategy out on their own system and have uh, similar positive results, then please put these results or your comments in the comment section below that we can all see your confirmation. But with this score on the 5 minute time frame, there should be no surprise that this strategy scores high on the leaderboard, with a firm position in the top 15. And I can argue as well that this algo has proven itself worthy of a place in my forward testing bot to see if it also performs well in real life. And if you want to see how the best algos would perform under real market circumstances, then you can always check one of my live streams, especially the one uh, I made to find out what the results are of the forward tests of the best performing strategies. Now please remember that all the backtests and the results you see on the internet uh, and YouTube are only hypothetical exercises and you should always do your own research before any real trading with these strategies. For now this is the end of this video and I hope you liked it. And if you do, then please uh, hit the like button to show your appreciation, subscribe and click the bell icon to be informed when I upload new videos. And many thanks to all my patrons that support me. Now, if you want to get all the output, code, samples and more, these are all on my Patreon page and the link is in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!